Hi guys, it is Asia, and today I'm doing a video on how to make a fajita. So, today what you're going to need, need to do is get a tortilla, a tortilla and some meat. I already put some meat on here just to start. And I also have some craft cheese. I don't know if you can really see it. And what I did is I warmed up my tortilla, my tortilla here for 10 seconds. And I didn't want it too, too soft or too flat or too hard. So what I did, we're going to need, you're going to need like a medium, like a regular sized spoon and start putting some fajita meat on there. This is just fajita meat. It was with the sauce and I had it, my grandma, she made it. I don't really know what she did with it. She must have just steamed it in our steam pot. And... There's some, there's some sausage and there's some steak in here, mostly just steak and some chicken. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cheese on there. Usually we, usually we put some sour cream and some guacamole on here, but I wasn't really in the mood for some, some of that. just wanted just to get some healthy nutrition in there. And the cheese, the cheese that has a, by the back, the nutrition back says it has a lot of, a lot of, Protein and dietary fiber. Oh. And has some sodium. This is just craft cheese. And so now what am I going to do now? I'm going to warm it up in the microwave for about 35 seconds, 36. Now it's going to... <laughs> yeah, it's boring. It's boring. You shouldn't have to watch that microwave around. So I didn't really eat breakfast this morning because I wasn't really hungry this morning. And guess what? I'm hungry now. And I wasn't really in the mood for some breakfast breakfast. And the mood just to eat something besides cereal and yogurt. Without a doubt, cereal and yogurt is a good thing to eat. It's really healthy. But sometimes you get tired of the same thing. So right now, I'm, while I'm waiting for the stuff to microwave, I'm putting the stuff away. Because in our house, you clean up after yourself. Right, Papa? <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. There you go. Oh, that's not where the cheese goes. And ta da! Yeah, I just, my sister didn't want to videotape me, so I coped with it and did it myself. Oops. Also, if you use cold meat, I would microwave it for more than 35 seconds. I already microwaved the meat. I just did additional more minutes on there. I just did that to melt the cheese. And so now I'm only I'm gonna try one handedly to wrap this. Let's see, I'm trying. One hand on the camera, one hand on the burrito. And this feet well it's really a burrito. But I but my Mexican friend calls it a fajita, so he has more experience with this than I do. Let's see? Okay, let's see if I can balance it. Uh. I don't have to tear the meat. Okay. After struggling, I finally made the burrito. Ta da! Now I'm gonna eat it outside on my porch. I'm gonna put the spoon in the dishwasher. I'm actually gonna put it in the sink because the dishwasher's already running. I'm gonna go eat it on the porch with my grandma. Thanks for the audience, Papa. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, okay. I'm gonna eat it outside. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Say hi, YouTube grandma. So I'm trying to turn the thing off. Okay. I'm gonna end the video right here. I finished. This is that. That's how you make a fajita. And just like I said, if you're gonna use cold meat, I microwave it more than I did. I just did that to melt the cheese. And see you next time. Bye.